All right then, boys. 11 match attacks packs are about to choose our foot champions team. Please tell me there's some good players in this pack. If you guys need some FIFA 20 coins that are safe, cheap, and reliable, then make sure you get yourself over to MuleFactory.com and go ahead and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout to get yourself 5% off your order and build on your ultimate team now and get the best players possible in your team. Also, just before we get into the video, if you guys want to go ahead and get yourself some G Fuel, make sure you head over to the G Fuel website, a link in the description to that, and go ahead and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 10% off your order. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the time of today, we're allowing 11 of match attacks packs to choose our foot champions team. So today I went ahead and bought 11 of the match attacks packs. And just, to, and just to point out, this is not a promo. They haven't supplied me with any packs, but match attacks, if you ever want to supply me with some packs in the future, my business email is below. So yeah, I went ahead and bought these ones right here, as you should be able to see. As you should be able to see here, that the Champions League and Europa League versions. So it shouldn't just be Premier League, it should just be a majority of leagues and hopefully some decent players in there like I said that's kind of what I'm hoping and basically I'm going to set a rule before we get into the rest of the video and basically the rule is from each pack there's actually seven players within a pack and we're only allowed to choose two players from each pack to put into a team that we can then go ahead and use to build the team when it comes to going on the console and getting the team together so yeah we can't keep all seven players when it comes to building the team we have to just choose two as soon as we open the pack to put into a pile to then put into a team and see how it goes. So yeah, I obviously need to pick wisely, try and pick um, from previous packs, you know, try and get some links in there. That's going to be the aim. Obviously looking for a goalkeeper, make sure we get a goalkeeper in there. Imagine there's not a goalkeeper in 11 of these packs. Like if there's not a single goalkeeper in one of these, I don't even know what I'm going to say. Like that is just going to be stupid. So match attacks, do not screw me over right here. So yeah, basically in terms of opening them, we're just going to open them like this. I'm going to show you the players in each of the packs and we'll choose to put them to a side and then get into building the team on the console. I think that's enough of me talking. I think you guys should know what's going on. If you don't, just follow through the video and hopefully the further we get through, the more you'll understand. Right, anyways, I want to start getting these packs open. Okay, pack number one. Here we go. What are we kicking it off with? So we've got some free digital pack. Go on. Um, yeah, I didn't even know there's a digital thing, but cool. So to kick it off, our first player is indeed Juan Mata, who definitely could be an option. Oh, okay. That's a good start. We have got a Raheem Sterling. I think he's going to be a choice from this pack. He's got to be one from these, I think. Then next to him is Jason Denier. Um, not a bad centre-back, actually, on FIFA. Uh, my light's kind of flickering sometimes on the card. I do apologise, but not a bad card at all. We've then got Ben Yedder, who's wants to get a very good player on this game. Then also, Samuel Umtiti, a good centre-back that we could definitely choose. So that could definitely be an option from this one. Then we've also got Christian Pulisic, which, um, once again, is decent. Probably not actually one of the best ones. And then, the shiny card we've got in the pack... Gerard Piquet. Love that. Okay, that is decent. He is definitely going to be one of my options. So yeah, they were our first seven players. It's now time to choose two of them to put into a team and then get into the next pack. So I think from the pack, we're going to go with Raheem Sterling and PK. I think we'll do it on my main account just so I can use that screen PK because he's insane. All right, here we go. Pack number two. Love that. Okay. Oh my God. I've just seen who's on the front of this pack. So in this pack, we have got Luke Shaw, obviously a left back option that we could definitely go with. At first left back, I think we've seen. And actually, another version of the player that I saw in the front, Kylian Mbappe. Another reason why I should be using my main account here. We've then got Isco next to him, like so. We've then got Jimenez as another defensive option. We've then got João Martinho as well. Kolasinac. And then, to end off the pack, don't even know if this is a rare card or what. Don't know what version of a card it is. MVP. MVP. Kylian Mbappe chose my decision. I am definitely playing on my main account. And it's not even a debate. Mbappe's got to be one of them. But who do I go with in terms of the Mbappe? You know what? I'm going to go with Mbappe, obviously the special card, and Jimenez. And they're going to be our two players from the second pack. All right, pack number three. Here we go. Yeah, okay, other side. All right. I always see some good play on the front. Um, which I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, so going through this pack, we have got in here Christian Eriksen on the front. We've then got Paul Lopez as well. We've got a Real Madrid badge. Um, cheers, I don't really want that. We've then got Stefan Savic, another centre-back as well. We've also got Rui Patricio, not too bad. We've got Henrik Mkhitaryan. And then to end of the pack, we have got a man of the match, Memphis Depay. So... Okay, I think Memphis Depay is going to be one of my options in there as well because he obviously links with Mbappe in the league good link. But my second player, who am I going to go with? You know what? Just in case we don't get another goalkeeper, we're going to go with Memphis Depay 
and Rui Patricio. All right, there are two options from that one. All right, pack number four, I believe. Let's get it open. All right, so kicking off this pack, we have got Joe Gomez at the front. Then we have got... Mariano Pereira. I think that's the Brazilian right back. I'm pretty sure we then have David Alaba um, Not bad a good left back option actually so we might go with him We've then also got Sergi Roberto who'd obviously link with PK So I'm definitely considering we also have a Man United badge love that then we also have Angolo Kante and then also a club legend Matt Doherty, okay Right, I think there's a. Uh, all right, so I think there's an obvious option there in Ngolo Kante, who definitely should be an option in that team. And then it comes down to who do we choose alongside Kante. And I think, like I said earlier, just to be safe in case we don't get another defending link with PK or something like that, we're going to go with Ngolo Kante and Sergio Roberto in the fourth pack. All right, pack number five, pretty much halfway through now, then. All right, so kicking off this pack, we have got Nabi Keita on the front. Next up is De Vries. Then we have also got. Alvaro Morata. We've then got a Bayern Munich badge. Cheers for that. We then also got another good striker in Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Then we've got a Man City badge. Thanks for that as well. And then to end it off, we have a man of the match, Angel Di Maria. I'm going to go with another Premier League centre mid to link up with Kante. So we're going to go with Angel Di Maria and Naby Keita. All right, so we're going over the halfway mark now with this next pack. Okay, I see another incredible forward that we really don't need. So on the front of the pack, we have got Vertonghen as our first player. Next to him is Marco Royce, another decent player. Then we've got Asensio, obviously another BBVA player. Hector Herrera, who I think I might actually take from this one. Then we have Diego Jota as well. Alexandra Lacazette, who could have then linked with Aubameyang, which is kind of annoying that I didn't go with him now. And then an MVP in a special Robert Lewandowski. So I think we're going to go with Marco Royce and Hector Herrera from that pack. All right, pack number seven. Here we go. So, kicking off the pack, we've got Shakiri. Next to him is Amadou Diawara. Something like that? I don't know. Then next to the line is Savage again. Duplicate Savage. Then we also have a duplicate David Alaba. Then an Arsenal badge that we don't need. And then we also have Willian. And then to end it off, we actually, once again, this time a special card, Alexandra Lacazette. You know what? I'm going to go with, I think, Lacazette as a super sub striker. And then also David Alaba in case we go for a Bundesliga side on the left-hand side. All right. Four packs remain. Oh, ho, ho. I see a big player. So, first of all, we got duplicate Raheem Sterling. Not too shabby. Next in the line is Skriniar. Not a bad centre-back, actually. Then we also have Karim Benzema, who I might take. Next, actually, is a 100% option here that I'm 100% going with. And that is Jan Oblak. Next, we have a card of two midfielders. I didn't know that was a thing in match attacks. Uh, okay. But Granit Xhaka and Torreira, in case we want a strong link. Then we also have Ross Barkley. And then to end it off, probably the best centre-back in the world. Hurts for me to say as a Man United fan, Virgil van Dijk, uh, MVP. So, hard choices in that one, definitely. Obviously, van Dijk's a B centre-back, though, which makes my choice a lot harder. And people might slate me in the comments for not going Van Dyke as well. But the way the team is going chemistry-wise, you know what? I'm going to let Siri decide between the two. It's going to be one for Benzema, two for van Dijk. Hey, Siri. Pick a number between one and two. Between one and two is one. Okay, number one, which is Benzema. So our two players from that pack are two La Ligas in Benzema and Oblak. All right, come on, give me a walk out of this pack match attacks. Come on, hit me up. All right, so kicking off this pack, we have Jordan Henderson on the front. Then we've got next to him, Fred. Not too shabby. Once again, a Ben Yedder in here. Not too bad. Once again, another Royce as well. And then after him is a Jordi Alba, who's definitely a good option. Then we also have Aspili Quetta. And then a club legend in David Luiz. Okay. However, from that pack, I'm going to go for a two defensive kind of players. We've got, first of all, Jordi Alba. And then secondly, is going to be Jordan Henderson. All right. Two packs remain. Here we go. Right. First of all, in this pack, we have got Davison Sanchez. Next to him is Awa, who had an absolute incredible team of the season last year. Then we have a Felipe. Not too shabby. We then also have a Manuel Neuer. Not bad, but obviously we have Oblak. We then have Callum hudson Madoy, Then also Adama Traore. And to end it off, we have a man of the match, Diego Jota. I think maybe we go down a Premier League route. And I actually am going to go through that. And we're going to go with Adama Traore and Davinson Sanchez. All right then, boys. Last but not least, the final match tax pack for this video. All right, let's open it up. Is that a beast player? I oh my God, it is. We've got a beast player at the end of this pack, boys. All right, so to kick off the pack, we have got Zinchenko. Next to him, we have a 
Benfica badge. Okay. Then we also have Ivan Rakitic. Not bad. And then another mega player in Eden Hazard. We then also have Morgan Gibbs White, as you can see there. Then we also have Socrates Papadopoulos. And then to end it off, a man of the match, Kevin De Bruyne. So to end off this pack, we're going to go with two mega players in Eden Hazard and Kevin De Bruyne. All right, boys. So there we go. The packs are now open. I've got a mess all over my uh, desk that I'm going to go ahead and tidy up before we get into the rest of the video. But we have our 24 players here from the packs that we went ahead and opened. So obviously, we're going to go ahead and put them in the squad. We're going to actually have to miss out one player from the batch, which I'll choose and tell you guys about after. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and put them all in the squad so you guys can see it visually on the screen. And we're going to go ahead and build the best team with the best possible chemistry we can get as well. So without further ado, it is, it is now time to get ourselves over to FIFA. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, boys, so we're back at a different day, a different time. Basically, the time I recorded the match attacks pack opening was actually a day where Foot Champions wasn't actually a thing. I basically had the match attacks there, and I just kind of wanted to open them just like I used to as a kid. I was like, mate, I've got to get these open. So, we've got all the players that we chose in a squad. I said, actually, prior to it that we had to miss a player out. Forgetting that it's actually a 25-man squad, not a 23-man squad. So, ignore that. All the players that we got from the packs, the two players that we picked, are now all in this squad that you're going to see. So, I will put it on your screen in a sec, and you can see see all the players that are possible to be used in this team and then we're going to go ahead put the team together get to a game and fingers crossed we can win so the players we got once again are going to be on your screen now so we got the likes of pk in there mbappe kante royce di maria then if we go down to the bench and reserves we've got the likes of benzema oblak henderson alba hazard de bruyne so obviously what we now need to do is figure out the best way to sort this out i mean i already know a few links we've got we've got the likes of mbappe can link with di maria on this left side obviously i'll go ahead and change mbappe's positioning because currently he's a center mid for me um because of my actual normal team so i don't know what formation we're gonna go with but i feel like mbappe and benzema should be our front two. Obviously, a French link in there. And then N'Golo Kante can link to one of them. So what I'm thinking of doing was putting N'Golo Kante onto the left. And then bringing in Kevin De Bruyne. Because, obviously, we have the man Raheem Sterling down here. Who then will link with Kevin De Bruyne. Giving him a link. A nice, strong link. Then, obviously, in terms of defence, PK is definitely going to be in there. That's a no-brainer with Jimenez. And then we're going to switch them to a round. So he gets a link with the Barca boy in Roberto. And then, obviously, in goal, we can then bring in the boy Oblak. So, yes, that is not looking too bad so far. Then what we need to do is switch up, obviously, to a left-back, um, which is, I think, the only one we had was... Actually, we had Jordi Alba or Alaba, but obviously, Jordi Alba gets more chemistry. If we then actually switch Jimenez and Pique around, that would actually put... Alba's chemistry up better. Obviously, we got the likes of Hazard down here as well, but he doesn't really look with Mbappe. And then I don't know if anyone else can really give us more chemistry. I mean, Hector Herrera, would he increase our chemistry? I don't think so, no. So I honestly think a team that we have got there... Actually, no. Wait, hold on a minute. What if we went uh, Lacazette as a striker up here? That would actually give us more chemistry. And obviously, remember, our chemistry will go up when we change Mbappe to a striker as well. So that might even be a 90 chemistry team because we're currently sitting at like 84 chemistry. So that is probably our best bet. Have Benzema on the bench as a super sub. And I think we're going to just stick with the 4-4-2 and use this team. Looks pretty solid, if you ask me. So, if we go right through the starting 11 again. In goal is Oblak. Right back is Sergio Roberto. Right centre back is Jimenez. Left centre back is PK. Left back is Alba. Left mid is Di Maria. Left centre mid is Kante. Right centre mid is De Bruyne. Right mid is Sterling. Left striker is Mbappe. And right striker is Lacazette. Then also, we need to choose three people to have on the bench. We're only going to have three of them because, obviously, we can only use three subs. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose three of them now. And the three subs I've decided to go with from the players that we got are the UCL Karen Benzema, Eden Hazard, and Davinson Sanchez. Basically, Sanchez is in there because in case, I don't know what Jimenez is like on this game, so he might not be the best. I know PK is absolutely solid, but if Jimenez doesn't do the best of jobs, we can then have a centre-back. And um, then, obviously, we've got Elijah Hazard. He can come on for De Bruyne, and Benzema can come up top as well, so that is all good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and buy this team, and then we're going to get ourselves into a game of foot champions with it. So, without further ado, let's get into that now, and I'll see you guys when I bought the team, and then we can get ourselves into this game. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and bought the team, so let's go ahead and advance now and find ourselves a game hopefully our opponent isn't too good but i mean our team isn't actually that bad to be honest so we are finding ourselves an opponent so his team is in goal is Allison. Right back is Pereira. Right centre back is Otamendi. Left centre back is Van Dyke. Sorry. Left back is Robertson. Left centre mid is Vinaldum. Cam is Ali. Right centre mid is Fabinho. Right wing is Mares. Striker is Rashford. And left wing is UCL Sterling. He's got some nice cards in there. I can't lie. This could be a very, very interesting game, but we'll see what we can do with the match attacks team. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. Kickoff time. 
Mbappe, oh, that's a ball. Kevin De Bruyne to Mbappe. Mbappe with the finish. The ball rolled completely through that guy off there with De Bruyne. Then the lovely through ball, by the way. This is the first time I've used De Bruyne. I know it's literally five minutes in, but he is feeling decent on this game. But there we go. 1-0 up. Mbappe does not fail to impress with a beautiful finish. A lovely ball, like I said, from De Bruyne. Hopefully, we can continue on and get the win. You know, that's what I want to do right now. Oh, no, don't let him score here. Oh, it's a good challenge. Nice. Oh, no, he's getting it back to him, though. De Bruyne, please. Oh, what is going on? That's going to be a goal. That's actually going to be a goal. Oh, my God. That literally all came from me kicking the ball out because something came into my room. And that was one all. All right, composure. Let's get it back on track. Raheem Sterling. Sterling, cut it back. And back down. And back in. Go on. Knock it back. Like is it. Drag back. Finesse. Like is it. Oh, let's go. I thought I was about to go wide. That's why my voice went so weird. But it goes in. That is what I like to see. Come on. Maybe. Yep. Go on. Like is it. Make the run. Continue. Yes. Beautiful ball. Chip it over. Like is it. Let's go. Karma composed in the finish. And he makes it 3-1. Two goals now in the lead. That was a lovely ball through and a lovely finish. Composure was key. All right. 3-1 up. Come on. Let's see if we get some more goals here. Nice. Mbappe. Fake shot into Kante. Kante! Let's go forward now. That's what I like to see. Oh, yes. These match attacks, boys. I've made it count. KDP on the front have been absolute ball of this game. This guy has now paused it as well. And as you can see, are we going to get a rage quit within 38 minutes? I don't know. Maybe he's just making a sub. Um, but before one up, we're kind of killing it right now. Can't lie. The team is playing smooth as hell. Let's just see what happens, though. Oh, okay, there we go. I was expecting to see that message pop up. I can't lie. All right. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So there is confirmation of the score of us winning 4-1 with the guy obviously rage quitting. And then if we also take a look at the match facts from the 38 minutes that we played, we had four shots to his two, four on target to his one, 46% possession to us. However, we scored four of our four shots and one. Uh, four one, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much just what happened. Um, yeah, the guy quitting 38 minutes and the match attacks, boys. Smashed it. Beautiful performance. All right, then, boys. So, there we go. That was the match attacks team. That was a very, very fun challenge to do. Honestly, this took me back to my childhood of opening all these packs. Like, genuinely, if I was to show you my collection, it's, like, ridiculous. Like, I have loads of the old match attacks. I used to get them all the time. But, yes, boys. Anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Let me know in the comments any other ideas or things you guys would like to see me create content on on the channel. But, yeah, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.